Hello Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Also, just a quick heads up, I have now started a new second channel for collective readings and pick a card type readings. So if you were one of the people who were interested in that, because I have done it before on this channel, feel free to go check out that channel because it's going to be all collective and pick a card. So let's see what's going on with you, Leo, when it comes to love. Oh, the link to that channel is in the description below, by the way. We have codependency. We have wild card. We have sadness and grief. And passion. I am getting a message here that whoever is the codependent in this connection is going through a lot of sadness and grief. This could be you or your person. One of you may be the wild card. Okay, the one who likes to have their space likes to be free and one of you is more wanting to be connected the energies can be vice versa so i don't really know who is who yet but let's see let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others you have engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment true love this is the romance of a lifetime and we have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so somebody is needing to make the effort here if they do value this relationship the person that leo has in mind what's this person's energy towards leo okay so here we have someone who's running so they could be the wild card here the person who doesn't want to be tied down they also seem to be dealing with a lot this person can feel easily burdened. Like, for example, you get too serious. They start to feel like, whoa, this is too much. And I'm just going to, I need my space, blah, blah, blah. So this could be someone who just, they can feel pressured quite easily. We do have the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, things may be at a standstill right now because this person possibly checked out because things got too, too much for them, apparently. <laughs> Let's see. What's Leo's energy? towards them okay page of pentacles the emperor i feel like a lot of you leos are torn you may be dealing with an aries or a cancer but i feel like you're torn between should i reach out to this person and make it work or should i just take back my control and do me and move forward you may think about speaking to them, but then you kind of you kind of just don't go through with it. I feel like you're more connecting to yourself here and following your intuition, having your own back, which I love because who wants to do with someone who runs away from, you know, anything? I'm sure you would like someone who is, you know, willing to stay, willing to fight for the relationship for some reason and the cards haven't come out yet but i feel that i feel like this person it's almost like they're gonna get to the point where they realize that they have to do better than this they have to do better than running you could be dealing with a fellow leo here with the sun card what's the mutual energy ten of swords both of you are feeling the same pain here, but someone is refusing to see it or refusing to acknowledge what they've done or what they're feeling. There's still attraction here. Some of you could be dealing with a pregnancy situation, um, but there's Leo, sorry, Libra energy here with the Empress. And I just see that this person, they're just in this mode of not wanting to face the music you know, this is just someone who's running at the moment, like, I mean, what's this person's next action towards Leo going to be? If it ain't more running, then what is it? I mean, come on. Again, with the Knight of Pentacles at a standstill, walking away, feeling like they need space, they need to process their emotions. There's also the Five of Cups. Oh, <laughs> it was like, it, 
it's a page of wands i'm like this isn't the page of wands but it, yeah <laughs> five of cups so this this person is going through the motions i'm seeing someone here who is it's, it's almost like they're running from their own feelings and their own pain because here they're feeling something they're feeling the ten of swords and the five of cups and they're just running away from this feeling like something happened they don't like being in this type of feeling where they feel sad or they feel like they're losing you so they just run from it i feel like for some of you that is there that was their first instinct maybe they'll think about it and you know find another way to deal with it but for now it's like they just ran what's coming up in the near future for leo when it comes to love got some ringing in my ear so let's see what this message is you're gonna have some options coming towards you amazing ten of cups while you're going through this um sadness or thinking a lot about this situation you are trying to make a decision and some of you may even have options coming towards you but in the end i see you ending up happy here i'm not seeing how yet but some way somehow and it could happen very quickly it could be a i'm getting a situation for some of you where you just flip where you're just like okay f this like you go through this nine of swords phase and then you just like f this i'm going for what i want let me look at your main spread because there's some kind of gap there's something missing here that i need to see okay what is going on with leo when it comes to love with Leo This person is really giving you a headache. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius, some of you, or a Cancer. We also have Taurus and Virgo. But this person is really giving you a headache. They do want to come out of this separation with you. However, what's blocking this situation is, again, this Eight of Cups. This person running or feeling like they need space to process their feelings. Their problem is their feelings. They just don't know how to process it. And they're kind of being forced to see, to look at things differently. If they want to continue with you, that is. This person is not allowing themselves to be patient with themselves they're kind of just seeing something and running from it they do see this relationship moving slowly pro probably because they decided to run away which slows things down and they are like it's almost like they're running from the responsibility that comes with the relationship running from their their side of things the fact that they have to put in effort they may speak to someone here with the three of pentacles this is their next move it could be that they confide in a friend we do have let your friends help you it does seem like this person is trying to reach out to, to see who can help them with the situation or i'm hearing someone like you know ask a friend what they think or if they've been through this before so it seems like your person really needs help um, figuring out their emotions. It seems like they genuinely are confused and feeling lost, don't know what they're feeling, wondering, you know, what's going on with them emotionally, maybe asking their friends if they've also gone through this before in the past, or even maybe an uncle, someone who's older than them and, and experienced. So yeah, this person really needs, they really need help with this situation. 
They really need help. We have the Queen of Cups, position of what you need to know. This person, it's like you need to know that they're starting to, they, they may be just starting to connect more th with their emotions. Maybe they're just not used to that. Um, I noticed that, and this is just very specific, but I noticed a thing with cancer males. So if you are dealing with someone with cancer in their chart, who is particularly masculine, I've noticed a thing with, with cancer masculine people. They tend to always go to friends to ask for advice about their love situation. Like always asking, okay, how should I do, how should I do with this? What does this mean? What does that mean? I don't know why, but I've seen it in multiple males who have cancer in their plate, in their charts. I've seen them always needing to ask people um, for advice in their relationships, asking me, asking other people and all that. So it could be that they're trying to get some insight as to what they're going through, what they're dealing with, with the two of swords here as the outcome. This person is like, you know what I'm getting? You know when someone doesn't believe in ghosts? And it's like so many people around the world have seen ghosts, but this person in particular doesn't believe because they don't want to believe because they're afraid to believe. That's what I'm getting with this person, not to do with ghosts, but like, it's like they're afraid to believe in their feelings for you. They're afraid to, to surrender, to give in, to just accept that they've fallen weak to another person, you know, because that's what happens in love. You, you give yourself over, basically, not your whole self, but a part of you. You give to a person and you risk getting hurt. And that's the thing with this person. And they know that them running away is causing you to be stuck in your head, causing you to feel, oh my gosh, I can never pick up these cards. <laughs> Causing you to feel this sadness and, you know, overthinking and they know that they haven't given you the answers that you deserve. So they know where they've put you, but it's almost like they can't help it because they don't know what to tell you. They're not, they don't even know what to tell themselves about how they're feeling. You know, this person, they're just waiting to feel like they have a clear answer on what to do. Why the Four of Swords in reverse? So right now there's this single vibe with this person they are definitely in this mode of processing their emotions queen of cups i feel like deep down they they have a lot of love for you but they're just not used to that part of them being activated the way it is right now it's like <laughs> it's like you're making them experience this softer side of them that they've never experienced before or maybe they try to push that side of them back bury it and act all tough present this tough exterior to the world now they're 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 being triggered their soft side is being triggered why the nine of swords okay this person you know i feel like they do see you as somewhat intimidating Seeing you as being someone who is carefree. And like I said earlier, when some of you just snap and say F this, this person knows that you are that type who will do that, who will switch up real quick once you see that, you know, your time is being wasted. So they know that they run the risk of you just getting fed up and leaving, that you could just take the leap, be done with this situation and start over with someone else. This kind of gives them you know, a limited, limited time to figure themselves out. Okay, what we got here, a Hierophant in reverse. So this is something that is kind of out of the ordinary for this person. Maybe they've just been set in their ways in the past. Why the King of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, being in denial being in denial they're shutting this down they have these feelings for you but these feelings come with emotion come with sorry not emotion come with well emotion but they come with um responsibility because they realize that okay leo you are a living breathing person and 
this means that you do have your requirements, your needs, your expectations, and if and this person knows that they need to meet these expectations in order to keep this relationship going, but they're fearful at the same time. Wheel of Fortune is here. So is it possible for change? Yes, you do have the Ace of Cups. What's with this Three of Pentacles? Please clarify the Three of Pentacles. This person feels comfortable reaching out to friends and asking their advice, their opinion. Like I said. So that could be what they're doing currently. Running away because they need their, their friend's advice or someone else's advice. Their dad, their uncle, their mom, their auntie, so whoever. Whoever. But let's see. Queen of Cups. Yeah. I feel like, Leo, you know what's going on with this person. Some of you know. Some of you pick up intuitively that this person is running from their feelings. But you're just kind of waiting. And I feel like your type of waiting, being a fire sign, is very limited. You could at any moment flip, this, flip the script and just decide no more waiting. Why the, why the nine? Why the two of swords as the outcome? Yeah. They're going to keep refusing to see for some time. Here they have this situation that they just were not ready for. Especially them being so attracted to you and maybe you attract other people as well. Maybe other people are attracted to you with this six of wands. People looking up to you, praising you and being attracted to you. Now this person has to deal with all of this. And they weren't ready. It's like, my goodness, let me see what we got here. <laughs> Messages for Leo. Okay. We have submissive. We have lady of the night. For some of you, this is a situation where you guys were no strings attached and, or at least maybe they wanted it that way or thought it would be that way, but they fell in love. They're catching feelings. They don't know what to do now. That's somebody's story. Don't step out of character. It says trying, trying you, pushing buttons, be the bigger person, zero to a hundred real quick. I told you, I told you, and this is what I had in mind when I said that you could just say F this is the word zero to a hundred that you could just flip. And it's like, whether this person knows it or not, it could happen. We have karma. Could it be that, that you do flip and decide to move on and now they're, they find themselves chasing you, being submissive to you? I'm also getting the message that this person doesn't understand why you are giving yourself to them. Maybe they have an insecurity or feel like they're unworthy of you. They kind of question like, why, why me? Like, why would Leo want me? So maybe that's why they're asking friends. Like, do you think this is normal? They, they seem to have, you know, a lot of doubts about themselves. Let's see. We have by all means, green light, something better soon enough. This landing upside down does get give me the, the message that some of you kind of know that there's something better, but you're kind of on the fence about that. Like, should I go and see if there's something better or should I wait? But as you see, soon enough, they will... There will be answers that you need coming out. We have endurance, keep going. Beauty, grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. 
we have res receptivity allow yourself to receive allow yourself to give vulnerability open your heart allow yourself to be tender this is what your person is fearful of doing this they're, they're not allowing themselves to be vulnerable to be open emotionally they're running away from that because it's too it's too scary so you're just needing to keep it pushing not saying you have to leave them obviously but it's up to you really like you could find someone better you could wait for them just know where you stand and know that this is not them running because you're not good enough you are good enough possibly too good because you do have the star star card and this person is wondering why you chose them so either you have time for that or you don't you know so leo this is what i'm seeing for you i hope this was helpful there's a libra energy cancer aquarius scorpio oh yeah the death card in reverse this person being resistant to change and also some of you kind of being resistant to change because yeah you could move on easily but i feel some of you do still struggle with you know taking that step it's something you can do but it still takes it still requires some strength to be able to say okay fine i'm done i'm gonna move on so here we have two people who are just kind of reluctant to change you guys may have been doing things one way for a long time and now it's like being disrupted but time will tell and you being a fire sign you ain't gonna waste time so once you <laughs> if this person takes too long you're just gonna be you'll be on your way that will be your that will be your green light as it says if if it takes too long so hope this was helpful, Leo. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on with you when it comes to love. Also feel free to check my new channel. Link is in the description for your collective readings and pick a card type readings. Hope to see you guys in the next one and thank you so much for watching.